is where we meet the Jamaican born dancehall artist who is said to have the biggest dancehall track on the planet right now. Say you're bad from which bad? Tell up we never one deep dark. But why does he reside in St. Kitts? The artist goes by the name Byron Messiah, who joins us right now, right here on our stage to answer. <laughs> Byron, sir. Alas. Blessed love, sir. Alas, killis, callas. <laughs> explain for us, though, your, your last name. Um, Messiah. Yes. It's actually Latin. Um, it means weeping God. You yes. know? Mm -hmm. And we know um, Messiah means God with an H. But, but because of religious reasons, why we moved the age still because, you know, it was very, very, you know, a uh, religious um, debate that we don't want to be going through with people. So, yeah. Oh, I guess. That's it. why I wanted to, you mm -hmm. to explain that because yeah. I know that Christians would, yeah. <laughs> would be coming, to, to yeah. for you, coming after you somewhat right. about it, especially because you're a dancehall artist. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so why are you based in St. Kitts? Let's get that out of the way before we even go any further. You know, I migrated when I was two months old from Jamaica. I was adopted, you know? Okay. Yeah, so. So you're barely, you're barely Jamaica. <laughs> you are. You're, 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 yeah, you I'm were Jamaica. conceived yeah. and, <laughs> and born here, right? Right. Good. So you're Jamaican, my friend. Mm -hmm. But do you accept that? You're yeah, Jamaican. of course. So your yeah. parents moved from Jamaica or one of no, your mom? No, none of the above, to be honest. No? Yeah, um, a lady who she, she, you know, was a good friend with. Yeah, call, I just call her my auntie still, you know? Yes. Yeah, she just took me still because you don't know um, the situation. My mother was in at the time, etc. you know? Yeah, it, was, it wasn't um, a healthy environment, etc. as well, so, yeah. So you yeah. were adopted? Mm-hmm. By both parents in St. Kitts? Um, well, you could say, I had um, two mother figures, my sister, and the lady that I'm calling my mother today, yeah. And your real mom? Mm-hmm. Is she ar still around? Well, I mean, yeah, she, she, she lives in Jamaica up to today, you know? Okay. Yeah. And is there a relationship? I mean, yeah, slightly, but yeah. Uh, slightly, Building but it still, man, you know? Oh, Yeah. okay. Let's get yeah. into the music side of things. When did you start to be an artist, officially? Well, I mean, on um, April 10, 2000, the day I was born, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I was an artist already. Oh, yeah? <laughs> You're born with it? <laughs> yeah, we're just born as an artist still. But um, when I officially started doing music, I was at the age of 15. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't until the age of 18 when I got Island Famous, though, in St. Kitts. Yes. And then it wasn't until 2023 when I became Planet Famous. You know? Yes. So, yeah. 2023, <laughs> this yeah. year? This year. So, but you were a star in St. Kitts yeah, before? Yeah, yeah, man. The people, them, them always been a move with me. That's one thing. St. Yeah. Kitts is a very supported and loving place, too, you know? Yes. So, yeah, we've been a star from since the age of 18, man. Okay, so talk about your Planet song now. Because mm -hmm. it, it's, <laughs> is it really the biggest song in, in <laughs> dancehall right now? I mean, it's the biggest song in, in, um, in dancehall right now, yes. yes. It, is, it is just um, the most trendy song of today, I would say, okay. you know? Because the biggest song in dancehall can't be that song there. I mean, it have people who have sung since the 90s. I mean, what? No, 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 no? we're not going back. We're talking mm -hmm. about but the present. Yeah, presently, it is one of the, the hottest. Yeah, the hottest. One of, or, or is it? It's trendy. Yes, but some people are saying it's the, <laughs> it's the track. Yeah, I mean. And you are the man right now? Yeah, but, you know, I, I left that comment just for the fans and, you know, for people to debate about. I just Whether or not it is. Yeah. Is it really dancer? Um. Well, the storyline behind it, it is a dancer storyline at the end of the day. Only we speak about, you know, mm. them um, situations and what's not what we are singing about in the Taliban. But, I mean, there's, very, there, there's a, a, a debate about it being um, an Afro song. Yes. But I won't call it Afro at all. I would say it is a dancer song. Meaning Afro beat you're Yeah, talking. Afro beat, but I would consider it as a dancer song, man. All right, before we go any further, let's take a piece of the song right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Let's go to the screen. Say you're bad from which part? Tell up we no one deep dark Like Chinese was so the tall. All right, that, that's it. <laughs> Taliban. <laughs> this track is really a Jamaican track, right? Mm -hmm. That's our track. Yeah. I mean, hello. You don't have to say you were born in Kingston, you know. <laughs> you don't need to put oh, no, the song out. We just have to get them a reminder still, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you, you, you're authentic. <laughs> yeah. 
for, for sure, Reggie. So, mm -hmm. okay. So the track is, yeah, I don't know why they say it's Afrobeat, why some people mm -mm. say I don't know as well. Afrobeat. Um, it, it's, it's, it, it's very dancer. Yeah, it, it is. to me it's the new age dance art. Right. That's what Jamaicans mm -hmm. are doing now, the youngsters. So what has it done for you, sir? I mean, it has done so much for me, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really say one song can actually change your life, and I never believed in that saying until, you know? Like, everything I experience right now and everything I go through right now, mm -hmm. you know, it's a wonderful feeling still, you know? It has opened so many doors for me as well, too. Okay, speak to that a little more. Um, in terms of numbers, what are the numbers on the various platforms? And, uh, yeah, we have, and have, so on? yeah, we have been seeing, um, well, it, it, the song now um, hits um, 20 million views three days ago. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and um, I've, um, a lot of um, international artists, have been reaching out to me, you know, right. trying to even be on the remix. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, who, like who, who are some of them? Um, I would say um, we have 21 Savage mm -hmm. reach out. Um, Burner Boys people oh. was reaching out, you know? Yeah. Then, mm -hmm. what do they want to do? Collaboration? Yeah, something? collaboration. But um, I don't think there will be a remix for Taliban, though, because Taliban is already a major hit by itself, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think we're going to leave it as that and just do something fresh, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're in demand all over the world? They're calling you from all over? Yeah. Are you signed to a big label yet? Um, yeah, I'm actually signed with Geffen because that's a part of Interscope. So okay. yeah, we're signed to Interscope presently. Yes. Mm -hmm. And plans for your uh, for travel and appearances? Yeah, um, I now got booking agency, the booking, two booking agencies posted us this man himself. Yes. To um, accept bookings in the U.S. and the U.K. Um, territory. Yes. So, yeah, definitely we'll be traveling. And you have no impediment when no. it comes to travel? You can no, travel? No, no. I, I can travel. Yes. I have my visa. You have I'm your still, visa but I'm, but I'm working on, you know, the permit still for the um, U.S. That's why we say in August. So, I have to get it by next week or so, I have it, man, and I'm packing still, you know? Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Ten kids. Yeah. You are the biggest thing in, in that, on that island, aren't you? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Whoa! So, so yeah. should Jamaicans fight for you then? I said, come on, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, yeah, you know, it, it's been happening right now. It, yes. It's a big debate over the internet right now. Yes? Every time we, we go up on my phone and scroll through, we just see people argue. I said, nah, you're a kitty Nah, you're a Jamaican. This and that. The Trinidadians even step in and say, nah, you're a one of we, you know? Yes, like, even Trinidad one, you know? <laughs> ethnicities are fighting over me right now. It's crazy, you know? Oh, really? But, yeah, but I love to see it. Right. All of us One are, Caribbean, are the, the same, right. of course. Mm. What's your, your catalog looking like? Yeah, well, my catalog is looking fantastic. I'm yeah. actually um, an album guy, you know? Mm -hmm. I actually released, because Taliban, Taliban was released on an album. Oh, it's on an album? No Love, yeah. What's the name of that? No Love. No Love. And how is that doing? It's doing well, amazing. Amazing? Yeah, it's doing amazing. Whoa. And so you're sitting on a lot of... And a lot of stuff now? Yeah. Unreleased? I mean, I have um, a whole, I have a next project I want to release. I don't know when as yet, but it's going to drop this year for sure, you know? Yeah. It's entitled Sad and Famous. So, mm -hmm. who are some of the Jamaican artists you rate now? Who have inspired you? Well, you know, um, one, of my, one of my biggest, biggest inspiration as a Jamaican dancer artist is uh, Massacre. You know? Massacre? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The reason why I say Massacre, I just him style. I just him flow, him word player, him creativity when it comes to writing songs have just amazed me. Uh, you know, me look up to artists like Chronic La, mm -hmm. big therapist for me, you know? Uh -huh. I look up to um, Vibes Cartel, and you know what I say? Yeah, I, play, I plenty of artists, man, mm -hmm. I work with, you know? I may have songs with Jashi, I have songs with Ritical, you know? Yeah, and Governor, my brother. Uh -huh. Me and Governor just have a different type of band Same. outside of music still, you know? So, yeah. So we appreciate you coming in and sharing this. I hope you're inspiring the younger ones. Yeah, man, definitely. In man. Jamaica, those coming and even those with, with careers already, mm -hmm. that they can walk your walk. Right. You, you're not in trouble with no law and everything there. Nah, man. No badness. I good no badness. Nah, 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 I good you. Over, I good you. <laughs> overrun you. <laughs> I good you. Well, be good, be good, Reggie, because the world no want no badness. Yeah, but. And, and the, rules, the rules of, of borders and countries and jurisdiction yeah. that you will go 
are their rules. We can bend them to suit us because we're right. superstars. For real. You have to be in, this, in a state of readiness to exploit the, the potential mm -hmm. and the calls that you will be getting. Right. Much love. Allah skill is callous, man. Till we see you again, Reggie. <laughs> yeah. Much love, much love. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> I, I suspect it's something good. <laughs> well, it means to live by is to die by. Ah. So you have to stand for something what you believe in, you know? Okay. So and what language? People. Um, it's my language. I'll let you have the truth. You have the language. We have to be somebody great. Watch. All right. We want to be famous like Jesus. You know, long Jesus famous. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, you, see, well, yeah, you yeah, have to tell you nothing about ambition then. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. So there you have it in this segment. <laughs> the man himself. The Messiah, right? That's what we call him Messiah. No, the one them call himself Messiah, because you see, he wants to be as famous as Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> wow!